Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be delving into the SharePoint lookbook and discovering what it actually is. It's not a new feature to SharePoint but a lot of you have been sending me questions around it so I thought I'd do a short video for you. For those of you who are unaware of what the SharePoint lookbook is, you really need to check it out. Jump on over to lookbook.microsoft.com to get inspired. So what actually is the SharePoint Lookbook? The SharePoint Lookbook is a brilliant website that provides users with SharePoint templates, which you can provision to your Microsoft 365 SharePoint tenancy. There are solution ideas for collaboration, communication, engagement, and knowledge management, which have been pre-built to look great on any type of device or screen size. In addition to this, Microsoft have made it really easy for users to pick which theme that works best for their SharePoint site by categorizing the templates into topics. So if you have designer's block or you're struggling with that creative flair to build in, uh, interesting and impactful SharePoint sites, then do visit the SharePoint lookbook to get motivated. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you around the SharePoint lookbook and demonstrate how you can provision one in your SharePoint site. So let's get started. First of all, you will need to go to lookbook.microsoft.com. Here we are in the landing page of the SharePoint lookbook. And let's click here, see examples, to learn what templates are available to us. So as you can see here, Microsoft have given us categories. You have organization, department, team, community, solutions, and schools. And within each category, you can see what the relevant uh, templates are that are available to us. You can then choose which one of these you want and you can provision that to your own SharePoint site. So if we go back to solutions here and we click on engage and inform new employees, that's the one I've chosen for my SharePoint site purely because I really like the style of this site which streamlines and refines the onboard process of new employees entering a company. After we select this theme, we are given a more detailed insight of what we can expect from this page once we have provisioned it onto our own SharePoint site. So if we look at it here, we have the hero web part at the top. If we scroll down, we can see this really eye-catching wave. We have some news features and these are all pre-built. So once you've provisioned this, you can simply just edit it. And they've also got the Twitter uh, web part in there as well. At the bottom, I think it's really cool that they've included the um, additional wave in the footer. If we scroll back to the top, we've got site features. We can see which site features have been used to build it. We can see which web parts have been used. So they've got the hero image, people, world clock, Bing maps. And we can also see what content has been included. So let's say I really like this um, style of site. I want to provision it to my SharePoint tenancy. I have checked all of these specifications here and all of these site features to ensure that it's gonna work with my SharePoint site. The first thing I need to do is to ensure that I have permission from my organization to provision this to their SharePoint site on behalf of them. And I also need to be a tenant administrator to dis deploy this template. Once I have that um, permission, and once you have that permission, you can provision it to your site. So you click add to tenant. You will need to check the email and change this. You will need to edit the site URL if you wish, and you will need to set the site title for your new site. 
and then you're going to click provision. The process takes some time, so do carry on and leave this in the background running. Carry on with what you're doing and keep coming back and checking up on it. Once it has provisioned, you will be able to click the new URL that will appear here and you will then be taken to your new site. From here, you can edit it as you wish by clicking edit. You can change all of these um, headers, the paragraphs, you can edit the images, anything you wish to suit your company content. If you wish to access the this new site in the feature and you've forgotten what the new URL is, it can be found in the SharePoint Admin Center under Active Sites. So there you have it. Go take a look at this super helpful resource and get building stunning SharePoint sites. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my page. This will help me to continue to bring you more videos in the future. So thank you for joining me today and I shall see you very soon.